Hello, hello, it's Dumplet here. Here's an item on number theory. X, Y, and Z are prime numbers such that X raised to Y plus Y raised to X equals Z. Find the value of X plus Y plus Z. Credits to the Thailand International Math Olympiad for this item. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Now, whenever we have this type of equation, when, it, when uh, some variables are in terms of prime numbers, well, generally we want to consider can, the prime, can any of the prime numbers be equal to 2? Because that's usually the trick that's involved when dealing with items involving uh, prime numbers. So let's try to check that. Now, we can easily try to do this by setting x and y to be odd. Because, well, 2 is the only even prime number. So let's just check about uh, even and odd stuff for now. Now, if x and y are both odd, well, x raised to y, that's going to be an odd number raised to an odd number, so this will become odd. Now, for the y raised to x, same thing. It's going to be an odd number raised to an odd number, so that's going to be odd. And odd plus odd, that's going to be even. But if both of them are odd, then it equals to an even number. Well, z must be 2 then, because z must be prime. So, but if z equals 2, then these two numbers, well, obviously they should be positive integers. So both of them must be 1 and 1. Well, that's impossible because how the hell will x raised to y and y raised to x both be 1 if x and y are prime numbers? So it's going to be at least like 3. So that's impossible. So if x and y are odd, well, z equals 2, which we have a contradiction here. So this assumption that x and y are both odd, this assumption is wrong. Okay, so since x and y cannot both be odd, at least one of them must be even. So without loss of generality, let's just make x equal to 2. Now, the wolog here means the without loss of generality, so it doesn't really matter if x is the 2 or y is the 2, since uh, even, if I repla uh, even if I switch the x and y, it's not going to matter. So again, without loss of generality, let uh, x be equal to 2. Now x is even, but there is only one even prime number, so x equals 2 indeed. Alright, so we have 2 raised to y plus y squared equal to z. Now at this point, you would try to substitute some values, and it would be a nice substitution. Uh, I, sorry, it would be a logical way to um, continue this item by trying some values of y. Now, if you try y equals 3, 2 raised to 3 plus 3 squared. Now 2 cubed is, um, 2 cube here is 8. Uh, 3 cubed is 9, and 8 plus 9, that gives 17. And z is equal to 17, and that's prime. So it seems that x equals 2, y equals 3, it's going to give z equals 17, which is indeed correct. So, well, to answer the question, x plus y plus z, well, that would simply be 2 plus 3 plus 17, so 22, and 22 is indeed correct. But we haven't really proved that y, that why y should be equal to 3. So let's try to prove this by considering the case that y is not equal to 3. Now if y is not equal to 3, y is still odd, but it's just not equal to 3. So like 2 raised to an odd number plus something not divisible by 3 squared equals z. Now here is where uh, modulo 3 will come in handy again, because 2 raised to odd number, that's the same as saying negative 1 raised to an odd number. Now negative, way, negative 1 raised to an odd number, that gives negative 1. Now, something not divisible by 3 raised to 2 by Fermat's little theorem, that's going to give you 1. So if you recall Fermat's little theorem, a raised to p minus 1 is congruent to uh, 1 modulo p, where a and p are relatively prime, or that a and p, a prime number, uh, they have a GCD of 1. So you can try it out on your own, but something not divisible by 3 squared, because 2, 2 over here is 3 minus 1. So something... Um, not divisible by 3 squared, that's going to give you 1 modulo 3. Now, since the negative 1 raised to the odd number, that gives you negative 1. Now, plus uh, 1 by FLT. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0 modulo 3. So, this will give that z is divisible by 3. But if z is prime, well, then z must be 3. So, if y is not equal to 3, z should equal to 3. But one can see that this is indeed impossible. Because, for example, if this was equal to 3, now y here can only be 1. But 1 is not prime, so that's obviously um, 
not possible here. So if y is not equal to 3, z must be equal to 3. But this is impossible. Therefore, this assumption that we made that y is not equal to 3 is wrong. And therefore, uh, the y equals 3 is the only way that we can make um, z prime. So to, find, uh, to conclude, we have x equals 2, y equals 3, and z equals 17. And that's going to give you x plus y plus z equals 22. And this will be our final answer. Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!